Check it out. Finally got my papers for the RX-7 so I can insure the thing. That's good. Looks like they're all in order. Sweet. All right. Let's see what else is new. Looks like we got a new horse here too. Just a young one. Okay. I think it's gonna be part one of taking out the flasher box to put in my blue arc seven. Which is right under there under the dash. As you can see this arc seven has come apart and it's full of other parts. First step. Remove the front seat. See, there's just two bolts on the front here. They're 12 millimeter. Be sure to push your seat all the way back when you do this, in case you want to put them in another car. You don't have to line them up. It's difficult. Once the front two are out, just take the seat, push her all the way forward. And there's the grinding part. And there's two more bolts back here. One seat removed. Pretty good shape too. For being so old. Now, this next step, you're gonna wanna know your ability to uh, stretch. Take some yoga classes or something. Flash box is that box right up in the left there with the connections to it. I suggest using our uh, ratcheting ratchets, ratchets for this, it makes the job a ton easier. Some cardboard to lay on. Got a 10 mil. Good light never hurts. Okay, so I got it out. It's just three little bolts, but man, they're really up there. This is the uh, flasher box. It controls basically, you know, your gauges, your horn, your uh, clock and lights and all that stuff. But it also has a buzzer in it. And that's the problem with my Blue RX-7. It has a buzzer located right there. It just constantly keeps going off. So this box is a problem. 
Anyways, I said to grab ratcheting uh, wrench, something like this, uh, 10 mil. But actually, I use this a lot more. I just stuffed it up on the uh, driver's side as far as I could above the uh, handle for the e-brake and got the bolts out. So now I'm just going to put it into the Blue X7, which I'm not looking forward to. soon because you can see two pieces came off right there I'm not I don't really know how to do any leather work so next to this thing zap straps not sure how I'm gonna do this I think I'll just put that on there and then zap strap it around Style. Oh, check that out. The little belt even covers up my, my ghetto fix, my zip ties. Now that's what I call ghetto redneck belt repair. Not sure what kind it is, but. Panther helping out the little guy. Looks like he's giving him a bath. View of this uh, this horse with no name. I don't think he has a name yet. He's still a little young. Yeah, he's supposed to be brown. That's what they said, but I'm not really sure. Buddy, is that your new buddy? Come here. Come here. They seem to like each other. play with me so that's about it for today I guess this is his stall <laughs>